Dude, this is the review for the Vulcan um, EBF 25. Um, I just call it the Vulcan. And right here, since it says 25, it means that it comes with 25 votes. But I got the double the value pack, which is the same price, just double the dots. Um, and they seem a lot. And these are really good for um, your blasters and nerf blasters and the micro blasters or whatever. And these are called, I think they're sonic dots or something. They're supposed to whistle while they fly, and they actually do with this gun. They only, um, and it did with the blaster. Just make sure you just have open space. Okay. So, um, I, let me just tell you why I recommend people, uh, while you're getting this. I recommend getting another belt, and, um, you could do the mod for this if you want to make it, um, a $50 belt instead of a 25 and it'll make it more better, and, um, or you can get two separate ones, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know how much they cost, I, it's just, but I think it's cheap. So, um, let me just tell you the pros first, aka, um, the good stuff. Um, the good, um, as I told you, it comes with these bullets, a, tri a tripod that you could remove, this cool ammo box, and, um, yes, three firing modes. On the box it says two, but here's the three firing modes. I'm going to tell you now and I'm going to show you them. I'll tell you the third one when I'm shooting it, okay. First one, single fire. The uh, second one is um, automatic. And um, I'll explain the third one uh, when uh, I start showing you the shooting test. So um, here's uh, the, the ammo is pretty easy to load. And um, if you're doing a new four, I highly recommend the second one of this. Um, and, uh, if you don't, just try to get a backup gun. Um, you can load it like this, which will take a little time. It will be better. Uh, or you could just take this out and just break it down. Okay, the good. Um, the, another pro is this, but um, a con for this is that most of the time it doesn't work. A second pro for single fire, you can just put it back. And then you could just, oh, I think I messed it up. Oh, okay. But you're supposed to pull it all the way back, and then it uh, cocks it back for you. And uh, I did it wrong, so I didn't cock it all the way. Um, so, it's super easy to load. Everything that's good for it. And this, this just surprised me. It has three different um, attachment points where could attach a scope right here, um, a laser sight, a flashlight, almost anything. Um, and you can buy those separately at, um, at nerf.com or something, I don't know. Um, so then uh, it comes with this cool handle. I heard, um, uh, I heard that it breaks sometimes, but it hadn't broke for me yet. And another con kind of thing is that when you're putting the batteries, it doesn't come with batteries, by the, by the way, so get D batteries. I accidentally got C, so I bought a D, some D batteries instead. And uh, make sure they're 1.5 volts. Um, and um, you could just, um, you have to open this. And it took me a while to find the right screwdriver, but then I got it out. And it sometimes when I try to put the batteries in, it just pops out. So that's another, that's a con. Um, but it's not that bad. A uh, second con thing is that it's heavy. Um, uh, but uh, there's a, uh, it's super heavy right here, as you can see. Um, and, uh, but by the way, there's a new gun coming out on 9-9-10, aka my birthday. Uh, it is called, uh, I don't know, I think the bear or something like that. Same thing, basically, same batteries thing, same modes, except um, it's way lighter, it's super light, and uh, it looks pretty sick. And um, it's just like a carry gun. And uh, instead of these things, it's clips, so, yeah. Um, but another but a pro is that 
you can mod the battery, but it would take a lot of time, and I don't want to do it. Um, uh, to make this go faster, someone, uh, just to tell you, don't use too much batteries or something like that. Just make sure you go online and check. Um, but if you do use too much, it will melt. Um, another bad thing. Okay, um, and this another part is that when you attach the tripod, it takes a while. Um, let me touch it right now. And it easily comes off if you accidentally did the wrong move. And there you go. And I'm just going to cut it. Uh, but second thing, sometimes it gets jams a lot, but you can easily fix that by just lifting it up and then just pulling it back a little. And then, um, that's another thing. And by the way, if your automatic thing doesn't work, which is the button right here, you push it down. Um, uh, if that doesn't work, make sure this foot is clipped down. Uh, make sure you hear a um, clip, uh, click or something. Yeah, and uh, right here you can see this little, um, right here and right here. If you have the banger look kit, you can put that on your back, but that will hurt your back basically. And uh, this is, the handle is usually used for um, walking around with it without the tripod. And um, it's used for um, automatic. But um, this manual goes further, I'm just going to say that. And it, you can actually hear the whistle if you do manual. So I'm just going to do some shooting tests. I'm going to first do single fire, show you how four of them. Oh my god, do you hit me?